Today I will make a protein quesadilla that I would just call sloppy felu. To start things off, I will prepare 180 grams of extra lean ground beef. This particular one has 5% fat and has around half the calories than regular ground beef that has 20% fat. If you cannot find this, however, you can also use ground turkey or chicken that are both generally low in calories because of the lower fat content. Next are the vegetables. I will dice one medium-sized yellow onion, this weighs around 50 gram, and then half of a red bell pepper. I will first cut this into planks, turn it, and then dice it into small pieces, roughly the same size of the onions. Then I will use one big tomato. This weighs 100 gram as well. You can also use the same amount of cherry tomatoes if you want, just cut everything into smaller pieces as well. Last thing is one clove of garlic. If you give it a light smash with a knife, it gets peeled super easy. You can now either chop this up or like me, just use a garlic press. Then I will weigh 30 gram of shredded mozzarella cheese. This is the regular full fat cheese with 300 calories per 100 gram. You can also use the fat free mozzarella if you can find it. However, the calorie difference is not that high. So don't worry if you only have access to the regular cheese. Now I will prepare the most important part and it's the sauce. I will first start with this pumpkin puree. This this is my homemade puree from my last video and it's still hard because it was in my freezer. If you buy the canned pumpkin or store it in the fridge, it will still be soft. 150 gram will go into my container. Next is 25 gram of soya sauce and this combination alone is already absolutely delicious. But to turn this into the ultimate combination, I will also add this fire red thick paste called gochujang. This is a chili paste with fermented soy and is a very popular ingredient in the Korean cuisine. It is spicy and has tons of imami flavor. And even though it has quite some calories, because it's so strong in flavor, you will only need around 10 to 20 grams per serving to already taste a huge difference. I will add in 15 gram, which is around a tablespoon. Last is 50 grams of water to make this a little bit thinner. Now we'll mix this until it becomes super smooth and everything is combined. If you don't have gochujang, however, you can also use sriracha or if you don't want it spicy, I would recommend using hoisin that is amazing in this as well. So now let's get cooking. I will heat up a pan to medium heat and then like always add in oil with my spray, about two seconds. The first thing that I will add is my onions and red bell pepper. I will keep frying them for around three minutes until the onions start to get translucent and get brown spots from the caramelization. That is when I will push everything to the side of the pan, add another second of oil and I will add in the ground beef. Remember this is very lean, so it will become dry relatively fast. I will switch up the heat to medium high and try to separate the beef so as much meat as possible gets in contact with the pan for maximum browning. One minute later, I will already flip everything, fry this for another 30 seconds and then add in the garlic with my garlic press and also all of the tomatoes. Keep frying this for another minute or so, pressing down the tomatoes so they can release all of the juices. Now get in with the sauce. Keep mixing until everything gets hot. The pumpkin puree is already pre-cooked so you don't have to let this simmer for a long time. Just wait until it's hot and has become a thick consistency about one to two minutes. Then switch off the heat and add in the mozzarella cheese. I will just combine everything until the cheese is fully melted. This will take around 20 seconds max. And look at this. What a beautiful looking meat mixture. So to turn this into my personal sloppy felu, you will either need one big wheat tortilla with 28 centimeters or 11 inches. This will have around 200 calories or two smaller tortillas with 20 centimeter or eight inches, 120 calories each. I will go for two small ones. These are protein tortillas with seven grams of protein each. So I will lay them beside my pan and now with a spatula, just divide the meat mixture into two equal servings and distribute them evenly on top of the tortillas. Also, I will clean the pan before adding back the tortillas. They will stick otherwise and make it harder to flip. Heat up the pan again to medium high and add in both of the tortillas and flip one side over the other to build a quesadilla. Also, always add a touch of salt on top of the wheat tortillas. They will taste a lot better with it. I will dry fry both sides for about 30 to 60 seconds until you have your desired browning. And there you go. Two sloppy felu quesadillas. The entire recipe with two tortillas comes in with 767 calories. 62 grams of carbs, 27 grams of fat, and 66 grams of protein, or 380 calories with 33 grams of protein per quesadilla. If you like this recipe, you will also enjoy this macro friendly burrito recipe. So click on this video and see you there.